Happy One Year Birthday. Today, let's delve into the timeless 1955 film, East of Eden. Have you ever pondered when you first experienced this cinematic gem? As we celebrate its enduring impact, consider the qualities that have solidified its status as an everlasting symbol of the film industry. Now, let's shift gears and explore your most cherished memory or personal experience with East of Eden. Your stories and reflections are valuable, so share them with us in the comments below. We would love to hear how this film has left a lasting impression on you. And now, let's set the stage with some random facts about East of Eden. This film, directed by Elia Kazan and based on John Steinbeck's novel, captures the complexities of family dynamics against the backdrop of post-World War I California. With James Dean's iconic performance at its core, the movie grapples with themes of identity, morality, and the pursuit of the American dream. As you reflect on these elements, think about the enduring qualities that have contributed to East of Eden standing the test of time. What makes it a perennial symbol of the film industry's rich history? Your insights are crucial in unraveling the layers of this classic. So, share your thoughts and memories in the comments below. We look forward to hearing your unique perspectives on East of Eden and how it has become a timeless cinematic experience. Happy reminiscing, and here's to many more years of cinematic exploration. East of Eden, a 1955 film directed by Elia Kazan, is a poignant adaptation of John Steinbeck's novel, delving into themes of family, morality, and the elusive pursuit of the American dream. Set in California's Salinas Valley during World War I, the narrative revolves around the tumultuous relationships within the Trask family. The story primarily follows two brothers, Cal and Aaron, as they grapple with their father Adam's favoritism and a complex web of secrets. James Dean's portrayal of the rebellious Cal remains iconic, epitomizing the angst and rebellion of the 1950s youth. The film's unique style, characterized by sweeping cinematography and a haunting score, enhances its emotional impact. Its exploration of moral dilemmas and the search for identity struck a chord with audiences, leaving an indelible mark on popular culture. East of Eden not only solidified James Dean's status as a cultural icon, but also underscored the enduring relevance of Steinbeck's exploration of human nature. The film's legacy endures as a timeless exploration of family dynamics and the human condition. Alia Kazan's decision to direct the 1955 film East of Eden was deeply personal. Having experienced a strained relationship with his own father, Kazan saw a reflection of his struggles in the novel's character, Adam Trask. This stern and unforgiving father figure, disapproving of his son's chosen path, resonated with Kazan's own life. The director aimed to use the film as a platform to challenge the puritanical mindset embodied by Adam Trask in John Steinbeck's narrative. The challenges behind the scenes were not limited to the narrative. James Dean, who portrayed the rebellious Cal, brought his own intensity to the production. There were instances where Dean isolated himself in his dressing room, refusing to engage with others unless the discussion centered on the film. This unique approach added a layer of complexity to the production, reflecting the actor's immersive commitment to his role. The emotional depth achieved on screen wasn't without its toll on the cast. Richard Davalos, who played a pivotal role, shared that the most difficult scene for him was when James Dean, in character as Cal, hit him after an argument. While the physical impact was not real, the emotions felt authentic enough for Davalos to believe that Dean genuinely harbored resentment. This incident led to Davalos leaving the set, overcome with intense emotions that took hours to subside. In summary, East of Eden wasn't merely a cinematic adaptation. It was a project fueled by the director's personal struggles and the actor's immersive dedication. The tumultuous behind-the-scenes dynamics mirrored the complex relationships portrayed on screen, creating a film that delved into both the character's internal conflicts and the real-life challenges faced during its production. John Steinbeck, upon meeting James Dean on the set of East of Eden, exclaimed, Jesus Christ, he is Cal. Steinbeck's reaction mirrored the uncanny resemblance between the actor and the character he portrayed in the film. This immediate recognition set the tone for Dean's immersive embodiment of the rebellious Cal, a portrayal that left a lasting impact on the movie. While some may argue that Dean's approach to the role was unorthodox, with deviations from the script and emotionally charged takes, it undeniably contributed to the authenticity of the character. 
Director Alia Kazan, despite the challenges, harnessed Dean's unpreparedness and raw intensity to create a film that delved into the complexities of family dynamics and moral dilemmas. However, not everyone on the set was enamored with Dean's methods. Raymond Massey, in particular, grew increasingly frustrated with what he perceived as the actor's lack of professionalism. Massey's disdain for Dean's approach adds another layer to the behind-the-scenes dynamics of the film, reflecting the tension that paralleled the on-screen conflicts. Interestingly, at the film's release, critics were divided on James Dean's performance. Many criticized him for allegedly imitating Marlon Brando's acting style. Despite initial skepticism, Dean's portrayal of Cal Trask in East of Eden went on to become iconic transcending the criticisms and solidifying his status as a cultural phenomenon. In retrospect, the interplay between James Dean, the character of Cal, and the reactions of those involved in the film's production encapsulates the tumultuous and transformative nature of the 1955 movie East of Eden. The film's enduring legacy lies not only in its exploration of Steinbeck's narrative, but also in the unanticipated impact of Dean's unorthodox methods on the final product. Amidst the production of the 1955 film East of Eden, James Dean's unconventional approach to his role as Cal Trask left a lasting impact on the set. To intensify the discomfort in the Ferris wheel scene, Dean went to extreme lengths abstain from urinating the entire day until the sequence was wrapped. Furthermore, his refusal to perform a scene with Julie Harris on a pitched roof posed a challenge for director Aaliyah Kazan. Kazan's solution heading Dean intoxicated to overcome his reluctance. However, Dean's wild behavior and late-night escapades raised concerns for Kazan. Initially, attempts were made to curb his antics by having him share an apartment with Richard Davalos. When that arrangement proved ineffective, Kazan took a more direct approach, housing Dean in a dressing room on the Warner Bros. lot, with the director himself moving into the adjoining room to keep a close eye on his star. On set, Julie Harris, who played opposite Dean, found the experience electrifying. Dean's unpredictable and inventive approach to his role fascinated her. His dedication extended beyond acting. He studied music with composer Leonard Rosenman and would immerse himself in playing Bach on his recorder alone in his dressing room. For Harris, working with Dean meant staying alert and ready for the unexpected. In essence, the behind-the-scenes dynamics of East of Eden were as compelling as the on-screen drama. James Dean's unorthodox methods, from bodily discomfort to late-night revelry, added a layer of complexity to the production, reflecting the challenges and intensity that marked the making of this iconic film. As we bid adieu to our cinematic journey through the realms of 1,955 seconds east of Eden, let the tapestry of emotions it wove linger in your thoughts. Allow the subtle echoes of its narrative to reverberate within the corridors of your memories. Did it unveil a hidden facet of your own existence? Did the character's struggles strike a chord with your own journey through the enigmatic landscape of life? Consider this not merely a celluloid spectacle, but a mirror reflecting the intricate dance between destiny and human spirit. Take a moment to unravel the threads of connection that tether you to this timeless tale. Perhaps, like the characters etched on the screen, you too have grappled with the shadows of the past or yearned for acceptance in the embrace of familial bonds. As you navigate the recesses of your thoughts, we invite you to share the tapestry of your reflections. What moments resonated with you? Which scenes linger in the recesses of your mind, refusing to be confined to the constraints of time? Your experiences are the palette that colors the canvas of this cinematic masterpiece. Let the discourse flow freely, a symphony of diverse perspectives harmonizing in the collective echo of shared stories. Reach out, not merely as a spectator, but as a co-author in the narrative of communal appreciation. Whether through written words or whispered musings, let your voice join the chorus of those touched by the indelible magic of East of Eden. Thank you, kindred spirit, for embarking on this celluloid odyssey. Your time and contemplation are treasures, and we appreciate the symphony of your presence in this shared space of cinematic musings. Until our paths cross again in the realms of storytelling, may your reflections be as vivid as the frames that flickered across the silver screen. With gratitude and a nod to the timeless allure of storytelling, 